It's so cute and tiny. Weighs only one kilogram, folds flat. Just perfect for hot tent camping and hiking. A Winnerwell fast fold titanium stove. Backpack titanium stove. Oh, let's get a knife out and open her up. I had a go at making a lightweight titanium stove, you can check it out up here. But uh, yeah, needed further work, but then I came across this. It was a Black Friday and I accidentally bought it. Oh, instructions. I'll have to get the glasses out for that. Chimney pipe. Bag. Oh, stove. Sweet. Oh, yeah, it's fast fold. So it's simply, simply clips together. There it is. Very small. It weighs just a kilogram, which is amazing, and a tiny little pack size. As a comparison, my Firebox Gen 2 stove weighs exactly the same in its standard form, one kilogram. or one litre of water, one kilogram. That's pretty light. So you could carry that instead of any sort of standard stove, really. That's amazing. Just what I wanted. So let's get the chimney rolled up and get her lit. Being both builder, carpenter, whatever, uh, and a windsurfer, I'm incorporating a lightweight windsurfing mast and a plank. So the idea is I'm gonna anchor it on one end with a brick, roll it out, anchor it the other end with a brick, and then me and Paul are gonna gradually slide the brick off, put the mast in place, and roll it round the mast, and then get these little rings off, which are which are in here. on and then start working them down. And this right, right at the back. Yeah, about six inches in from the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got two up there? One. Two. Two. Yeah. So six inches and in what? Every foot? Yeah, just space them out so they look about right. Yeah, about a foot. So let this go now. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well that worked, brilliant. Hardly any creases in it. Yeah, yeah, so that's the way to roll up your chimney. 
Yeah, so we've got a lovely, lovely little spark arrestor. It's got some little clips on it, so you can anchor some ropes off, make it very sturdy. But I think with the with the Levu that I'm going to use it with, it's um, it's probably going to be stable enough anyway when it's trapped in the Levu about halfway up. But yeah, it's just uh, it's just drops into the bottom. This goes on the top. Oh. Let's put the top on first. Yeah, just, uh, just clips into the bottom. It's a little bit wobbly. It'll be alright for today, but yeah, like I say, the Levu will hold it in place a bit more, and I can always use the clips as well. I make up some paracord ropes, just my hat. To make up some paracord ropes to anchor it if need be or if the wind's strong. So let's get it lit. Oh, starting to get some colours coming through. Time for a brew, I think. 
Oh yes, we got flames. And for often you get a steam train go through. Just caught the tail end of it, I guess. I don't know if you can hear that roar. Yeah, it's going well at the moment. Anywhere between twigs and, um, I don't know, three or four inch round logs will go on there. Splitting them in half probably works better for, you know, getting, getting a bit more ignition. And when you want to really get some heat out or do some cooking, splitting them into quarters or even eighths is probably the way to go. And then constantly feeding them in there to keep the, to keep the heat up. Whereas if you're, um, if you're going more for a, for a long, you know, for like a, during the evening, I guess, you know, letting the fire burn down and then putting two or three halves on, will probably be the best option. Um, it seems to stay in for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, doing it that, doing it that way. I was a little concerned because it didn't have a damper to control the, control the heat on the back of the fire. I'm used to using one because I've got a Rayburn in the house and that, that would keep the heat in the chamber more, but it's so small it probably doesn't make much difference. And the, the controls seem to be very sensitive. As soon as you shut it down, the fire shuts right down. Obviously burn, burns less and lasts longer. Yeah, I'm very impressed with it overall. Well capable of cooking on it and bringing things to a boil. Just got to have plenty of wood in that box to keep, keep the heat up really. Yeah, it really kicks a lot of heat off when it's going like this. It'll keep my Levu size 2 lovely and cosy. Wow, that's just fantastic. I'm in love with my stove. Oh, I better have a look in there. I stoked it up over an hour ago. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on in there. Yeah, it's still kicking out plenty of heat, and that was that was over an hour ago that I stoked it up. So I think I think with it shut down and well stoked up, that, that, that could last two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm just I'm just blown away by it. So I better talk specs. Specs, double pun. <laughs> oh, I can't read without me specs. Right. 325 millimetres long, what's that, 13 inches, and 152 wide by 150 high, so 6 inches by 6 inches roughly square, so it's, you know, it's a pretty big firebox, you, you can easily, when the door's open, you can easily get a, a 4 inch log in there, and that, that would burn for a considerable time, I'm sure. Chimney's 2 metres long, and weight 0.998 kilograms, 2.2 pounds. Bag of sugar comes to mind. Yes. So yeah, I'm I'm well pleased with it. As I say, I bought this in a Black Friday deal, um, but I think the retail price of it is 320 pounds in the UK, including postage. Uh, got to have a bit of a shout out to me brother for helping me to roll the pipe up. It's just so much easier with four hands instead of two. And his channel is Molten Lava Banana. I'll put a link to that up here. Um, it's a little bit out there. It's kind of bushcrafty, but you know, the very light side of bushcraft, I'm just taking. And also I'd like to give a shout out to Badger and the Woodsman channel. Again, I'll put a, I'll put a link up there and I'll, I'll stick all the links in, in the bottom underneath. So you can uh, go down there and click on them. Um, yeah, he, uh, he, he sort of inspired me to have a go at making the first stove, which wasn't too successful, and, uh, and then I ended up buying this one. But uh, yeah, he's got some, yeah, some interesting stuff on his channel, and yeah, it's well worth a look. I think now I've got this chimney, if I was to use this on that stove I made, I, I see no reason why that wouldn't work, and that would probably be under 500 grams I reckon. 
um, so that would be super super light but by the time I bought this chimney I thought I'd just as well buy the whole stove really and it's it just it's just gonna fit so perfectly in my size 2 Levu. it's gonna be super cozy um, I'm not gonna be doing a long-term review of this stove or anything like that you just watch my videos where I'm doing hot tent camping and it's gonna feature in all of them how are you gonna know about them oh yeah that's yeah mm, I don't know oh you could subscribe that would do it wouldn't it now the chimney packs up nicely into its little bag and uh, it's heat set now so it stayed stayed in a sort of roundy shape and then when you roll it up it takes the takes the shape out the top has stayed flat because he's got these reinforced pieces on it I guess so they've done the job sides are a bit warped here but you know it's uh, not going not to affect how it works and uh, yeah, all, uh, all folds down. And, uh, oh yeah, I've got a strap somewhere. Where's that? Yeah, the chimney had a little Velcro strap on it as well to help keep it all closed together. And then it all goes in this little bag that they supplied. It's on top like that, I suppose. And uh, yeah, all together, probably weighs just over a kilo with the with the bag and everything. But yeah, that's a pretty pretty small form factor, isn't it? When you compare it to me hand, that will slide down in the backpack. Lovely. Okay, thanks for watching.